to get this right. And we are almost there. Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you're doing okay in this very cold night in New York City. And tonight I will show you, demonstrate how I do my flexi rods roller set. But before that, I will talk to you about my crystal aluminum deodorant. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome. Um, for those that do not know me, I am Ruth Mejia and I am licensed cosmetologist and a skincare specialist. And um, I do talk about everything beauty helping you in your needs uh, for uh, skin and hair care, essential things for the house, and any topic that may be of your interest. And also that will help you in your purchase uh, process to make the purchase process easier. So if everything that I'm talking about is listed underneath in a carousel, so it's a very easy process. Anything, um, this is my second time trying to use uh, my computer instead of my phone so if you see anything just you know the old lady <laughs> real life issues but um i will start speaking about the crystal light this is an aluminum natural deodorant it's a stone uh, this one i have is all messed up because i have dropped it many times but these i have it for like a year and a half i think so it's very long lasting so how it works is let me take one of the pieces that i you have to moisture this with water and you just apply why i prefer this to any other type of deodorant it's not only very convenient the price is very affordable but also it will not have chemicals that may link to cancer or any other disease and it's very good also for teenagers or pre-teenagers when they're starting to develop and the hormones are crazy and the body odor is crazy as well. A very good and it's an, it's, I'm telling you, this one I have way over a year and it's still working great. As many of you ask me for my pendant, this is Dominican stone called Larimar. It's only produced in my island and uh, i have mounted in gold but it can be mounted in anything you want and uh, this uh, is supposed to have healing benefits but i really use it because it's something that reminds me of the beauty of my island when you see it natural it's really reminiscent of the water in the sea when you see from above and it's something that i carry with me most of the time also i listed in the carousel the outfit i'm wearing so i have uh, socks for the cold, um, my yoga pants, and my Mondetta. This is really a working out uh, outfit, but I, I find it, and my Crocs, because sitting in this chair, I'm not wearing um, uncomfortable shoes for any reasons. And this is just because I don't want to scratch the wall any, any, any again. <laughs> also, so I did uh, took a shower before, and uh, today, instead of... um many things i did i did use this raw sugar this is kit that coming with four steps this one is really i'm um, signaling so it, it has the body wash the cream it has also body butter coming in this presentation and look how beautiful it has like a bamboo uh lid and smells very 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 good this is natural vegan and not so it doesn't have it's, it's cruelty free and all of that and this is like um exfoliating that is very nice and soft and it gives you a very soft and calming um aroma that is lovely um also after that out of the shower my nukes all prodigious or all prodigious sorry my french this is amazing this oil is dry if you apply in your in your wet skin, it will become milky, like it's milk, and it's it's very smooth and slippery. And also, you can use all over your body and on your hair as well. Welcome, thank you for watching. Let me know if you're watching for any of the other platforms because for first time, I'm trying to go live in multiple platforms, and I really still learning. So, bear with me, guys. <laughs> bear with me guys please 
and I'm also using or wearing um, this is my white tea vanilla orchid this perfume was launched in 2019 look how beautiful this is from Elizabeth Arden and this is a very good fragrance uh, for going to bed uh, if you're like me or maybe not but it's a good idea after the day uh, the stress of the day, your job, the kids, and everything. You want to, to soothe down, to calm down before bed. This is an amazing choice. So literally, it's, it's cozy, it's warm, it's inviting, it's, it's kerosene. It's a, it's a soft aroma, not bothering, but very inviting to be close, to be cozing up. And it's really beautiful. Uh, I think and for the price, it's an steal. A very very good one i love wearing fragrances before bed and usually vanilla will be my um top pick but i do love green tea by elizabeth arden as well hello hello you can type anything hey thank you carla how are you how are you thank you so much so i love the green tea and i also like vanilla but guess what with this one i have both <laughs> This is for a before bedtime um, preference that I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, I did something very soft. I applied my CC cream by Eat Cosmetics. This is good because it has anti-aging, moisturizing, and it also have uh, some protection factor all in one, and it's very light. It's not heavy, it's not a, a foundation, it's not full coverage, but it's very nice. Just not to look to so beat up. <laughs> And this is the one I explained. This one I have in the color tan, but it's honestly a little, a little lighter, a little light than my, my complexion, but, but it still can work. So it's not a huge difference, but I find it to be a little lighter. I also use from Eat Cosmetic. This is the magic brush. I forgot to bring it with me, but it's, um, it helps to smooth and then it strike very, to make, give you flawless kind of application. I have also a little bit because my have under eye dark circles, a little bit of concealer, and I also apply this confidence in confidence in a cream by it. This is um oh my god, I forgot the word <laughs> primer. <laughs> This is a primer and it will give you, it will just make everything even if you have unevenness and it will give you like a smooth canvas to work when you apply your makeup. Everything really very nice and soft just for you to not see me all beat up. And this is do see me with no makeup so you know make welcome, welcome. You can type anything. <laughs> Thank you for a lip gloss. It's very smooth and it's moisturizer so it just have a little bit of color but very nice and smooth. So if just you don't want to apply a lot of things, this is it, it's very, very nice. So now going into the step, I will be using a couple of things for the look. I will be using, this is hair flare, a bonnet, that hair pick as well. I will be using the uh, alligator clips never fail flexi rods and i have flexi rods in different sizes because depending on the size it will be the look that the shape the tightness of the curl depend on the side of the rod so i have different sizes and this package brings comes in different sizes so you don't have to get diff honestly i have two packages because i do a lot of rods but it comes with different sizes i also have my solano blow dryer this is my Solano blow dryer. Honestly, you don't have to get a professional one if you don't want to, but this is one I like a lot and it's very convenient. Why I do it this way? Because I can sit, watch TV, relax out. I'm watching a show with my daughter in Netflix that is called Lost in a Space. <laughs> it's about, um, you know, it's futuristic, but sometimes I think it, it will happen sooner than what we're expecting. It will happen sooner than what we are expecting. The way we treat in the earth is not nice. I'm also wearing or using, I'm also using a towel to prevent um, product or water going into my clothes. 
and the way I like to do it is I wrap it around me and I apply I hold it with a alligator clip I'm using that I have on in my hair welcome welcome thank you <laughs> I also have this is amazing this is a life changing product so this is um like a turban it help you to absorb water when you come out of the bathroom but it also keep the hair not from drying completely so now I want you to see how my hair looks when I don't style it this is like how my hair dries when I just wash and go so I don't have any product in it and this is how it will look why I prefer to style it because I think it looks nicer I like it to it's touchable it's more um it moves more and it's, uh, I, I like the look and also my hair shrinks a lot and that's why I prefer to style it because this way I, I like the result more the hair looks longer I dye the hair to closest to my natural color because I will stop coloring my hair so this that's the reason why it looks it, it came out like a little darker than what I wanted but it will fade as I as I wash it more and more sorry I'm looking to my phone because I need to move the carousel down so again if you are interested in anything that I mentioned you just need to go down underneath you will click and it will take you to your shopping cart it's a very easy process okay now um, I mentioned the clips the brush the rods I will be using I uh, my favorite products for working is Aloxy so this is hairspray and a spray water um, bottled water I have this one uh, but I listed one in here that is not from Aloxy so I previously uh, as you may see I previously shampoo my hair and I use the Aloxy 7 oils treatment why because my hair is dry even though my scalp tends to be a little oily my uh, hair itself is dry so I use the shampoo and the conditioner for the 7 oils I will be using the serum as well I'm just showing you everything that I'm be using so so I will be using the restorative hair serum and I will be using also the dry oil shine mist I like my hair nice and shiny and I like my hair moving so I also use and this was before now my Moroccan oil um, restoring mask this is great performs I have this is at uh, the size that is here is bigger than the size that I choose in there because it's better priced and this size is harder too so it's very nice and creamy and it works wonders so sometimes people say oh the products are expensive but a price is most of the time related directly to quality so Moroccan oil everybody knows the quality it's proven to work and it's amazing infused with argan oil and they are kind of the best to bring argan oil to the to the plate now it's very common almost all the lines have argan oil feature but they were kind of the first I'm also using my Kerastat Elixir Ultimate the reason why I love this one is because it has seven different kind of oils as well and I've been using this for years and it's just amazing you don't have to have natural hair to use these products you can use them in any kind of hair but they will work better in my type of textures just because we tend to have drier hair than um, majority of other hair types I'm also using my Moroccan oil intense curl cream this to shape the curls and have, and have it in, in very nice and bouncy and also I'm using this gigantic tail comb <laughs> this is gigantic tail comb and I'm using a regular a regular tail comb as well so I mentioned this I mentioned this so I also have a new mic I hope if you're listening well let me know so I can I can tell you um, this is a new mic a gift from my uh, nephew Angelo and uh, I'm very happy with it because my lavalier at sometimes it that was making noisy noises uh, clicking on my jewelry or is getting stuck in my hair I also have this nice um, 
holder for my phone so it, it elevates the phone a little bit it's really nice i'm using um, my rose gold mirror this is right here so when you see me look into the sides because what i look in the camera it's it's kind of opposite so sometimes i'm like uh, not knowing the movement that i'm doing hello nikaudis how are you how are you my love thank you so much for stopping by thank you thank you I also have a small magnifying mirror, this one, and this one has a light. This is just in case I need extra visuals for the look. So when I apply my treatment that I showed you before, I like to apply this, it's thermal. So when you apply heat that you don't have to go under the dryer if you don't want to, it will make the conditioner to penetrate deeper and will you will get more of the benefits of the products so what i do is i shampoo rinse out take the excess water off the hair apply my treatment i all i like to emulsify it in my hands i always start by the tail start by the tail and then go all over the hair because most of us produce more oil in the scalp so you don't want to saturate the scalp but you want to make sure your ends are well covered so I apply starting in the tail and then I put the plastic cap let me show you how it looks I apply this on top and I like that and I leave the treatment on usually half an hour because I shampoo my hair only once a week just let me just move this out of the way Thank you, thank you so much, Nikauri. Thank you. So I mentioned that I'm using my Super Solano blow dryer. This is a professional blow dryer, very good quality. It's very good. You don't have to have that. You can get any blow dryer that you have. You remove the nozzle and then you will attach it to, to the hood when you're going to dry your rollers. And you can use that for a regular Dominican roller set as well if you want to do it at home. Okay, so now to start the process, what I will do is, because uh, I shampoo my hair earlier and it's fully dry. When you're doing any kind of roller set, in this case, I'm using the flexi rods. What I will do is tomorrow at nine, I will have another live it's talking about um, body care products and then you will be able to see the final look because it takes me like one hour to dry. The, the the rollers and i don't want to have you for that long in here so now what i do is because i shampoo my hair earlier to make sure it i was ready for the life i it's too dry you don't want to do that on dry hair <laughs> hello welcome if you have any question you can please type it i'm trying to learn this process so it will take me time to be able to see if some people is talking to me through other um, platforms. And then you will be able to see the so you see? It takes me like one hour oh, no, 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 no. The, the, the okay. Thank you, Jesus, because it's too much noise. <laughs> Woo! Welcome to the old lady life. Okay, guys, then. <laughs> then. So this is, you know, that that's what happens when you do life this is no joke but it's little by little i will get there no worries because i i know for sure the more you do the better you become right okay so now what i will do is i will um i think i put a butter yes so i will use my butter this is just plain water and i will go all over the hair and I will make sure that you, I don't want the hair to be dripping. It just needs to be damp or moist. Okay. So you will apply water all over. Water all over. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Remember, um, if you need to chat, to be able to chat, you need to unmute. If you have not done so yet, you can follow. The, button, the follow button is to your left in yellow. This way, when I come live, if you are on the Amazon app, you will be able to see it. Okay? 
and you can also visit my store which is um, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Ruth Mejia and you will see my recommendations for almost everything so once you put the water water is your best friend I do it this way I apply my leave-in conditioner this is also from Aloxy the, from the seven oil lines I really love this product really really love it so I do work with this line in real life and this is it has a creamy consistency like that this is like um, bigger than a quarter size right everything I emulsify in my hands and I apply it this way so I use the tail and then whatever is left I apply all over and again the reason I do that is to make sure I do not oversaturate my scalp because I don't want my scalp to be oily or feeling greasy I just want my hair to be very hydrated I didn't lift at this because uh, I went over the amount of product but I love this one this is Kelmet biologics and this is Moringa 3 conditioning ghee smells so good but not only smells really good it performs really really good as well so kind of the same amount up again you will always emulsify in both hands like so you will apply in your tail and you will then go all over the hair And then after that, my hair in the center, on the, around the crown area, it's more rebellious. So I always make sure that I open in the center to apply the products. Now my hands are slippery. And I need to get this out. I don't know why it's not coming through so now I'm applying my elixir ultimate if I'm able to get the pump to work okay now it works so it's kind of the same amount you and here in the center my hair is so rebellious that I like to open the hair in the center and make sure that I apply and I'm very generous with this very generous Oh, I don't know if you can see because the color is transparent. Hey, hey, hello, hello, thank you. <laughs> okay, so every process, every step, the only thing will change when I'm going to do the roll, the roller, I will then apply the styling product, which is this uh, by sections, but everything else I apply all over. So I like to use what they call the LOC method. The LOC is leave-in oil and cream, meaning that you will apply your leave-in conditioning first, right? Your leave-in conditioning first. This one is also a leave-in conditioner, but I love it. So I uh, cocktail. Then you will apply your oil. And on top of that, you will apply your cream or your styling product. And this way, what you will do is you will lock in the moisture in the hair. And it's very important that you do that because it will give you longevity. When you see my hair done, it lasts me nice the whole week. So I don't have to be worried about nothing else because the hair is nice and bouncy and smooth. So what I do is now that I apply all my products, I use my giant my giant uh, tail comb this one right here sorry that I'm looking to the side but I'm looking in the mirror because the camera drives me nuts and I use my Denman brush 
By doing so, you will achieve two things. You will make sure that your product will distribute nice and smooth all over your hair. And also you will detangle, if it was any piece that were not properly detangled, you will detangle. Because these, when you attach the rod, then it will look nicer at the end. So I'm just sectioning the hair and separating these parts because I will start from the back. These Framer Alligator Clips are the best clips I have gotten. Let's separate the hair, brush the hair. When you're going to detangle your hair, if the hair is very hard to detangle or very rebellious, you want to start always from the end and then you will move all your way up. Because if you do it in the opposite direction, it will be very hard for you to remove the knots. It will be really, really hard for you. So what I do is this, and I separate the hair in sections. It will help me to work more efficiently. And also it will give me an idea of how my process is going. Okay, so you, you make a small sections. You will start by in the tip of the hair and you will move your way up until you get to the roots. And as you may see, the hair is moist, but it's not dripping water. This is, if it's dripping water, it will take very long time to dry and it will be harder for you to, to do this yourself. If you have natural or texture hair, it will be a little more complicated. So take your time practice 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 but i'm telling you you will not only save money you will do something that is a, a demonstration of self-love i'm glad to hear that you're okay nicaris i hope to see you soon okay then you will do this all over i will start in the back of course and the amount of rollers that you do depends on you i like to do a lot of rollers because i like my hair to look fuller and to have a lot of volume and also i find the more rollers i do the faster and easier they dry usually what i do is and for uh, applying the rollers i will use the smaller the smaller comb the smaller comb because uh, I want to have the ends very smooth so now let me see if I can explain explain you this you will take the end of the of the rod and then you will put the end of your hair here and you will make sure you wrap it around completely and you will turn it two or three times and then you will do like um, corkscrew and then you will close the rod in the opposite direction that you, that you twisted it because if you don't do it that way it will fall I like to make like a little circle just to make sure that the hair stays in place no worries you will be able to see when I get to the front okay and I like to use the, I have like a system, so I like to use the, the grays to start because I want the hair to look longer there. So you see, you wrap it around a couple of times and then you do like a coarse screw a couple of times. And then you will close the rod in the opposite direction that you roll it. This way the hair will stay in the rod. Otherwise it will fall down. Okay. And again, the amount of rollers that you do really depends on you, on what you want to achieve. And this you can you do it on dry hair, but I find if you do it on dry hair, it really doesn't give you the beautiful shape that I like. So you see, if you don't see my hair how it is, you will never think my hair is so coarse because it looks really nice and soft when I do these rollers. I will do also for next week, I will. I like to use also the um, core formers, 
that core farmers give me a different type of course that I love also. So next week I will do I will do those so you can see. Once again, if anything, everything that I'm talking about is listed in the carousel. You just need to go underneath this screen and you click in the product and it will take you to your shopping cart. It's nice, easy, convenient, and I will help you through if you have any question on how to use this product. So I'm using this, this package of flexi rods has different, all the different colors that they are supposed to be used by the thickness of the hair and also by the type of curl that you want to achieve. So this, I do it like that. Then I separate the hair and I take another section. Take another section. I don't know if this one is too thick. Let me see. Again, I don't like to I don't like to do it too thick. I like to do it thin so I can have a lot of volume. So as I told you for the for the final step, then I will apply the styling product every section. This is the only one that I don't apply all over. So I go section by section. I go ahead and detangle again every piece. Hey, hey, welcome. And I, like so, you see? And I like to make subdivisions, so I and you will do this until your brush run smooth through the hair from end to tip. You see, when you see it is smooth through, then it's good to go. And now you take small pieces. You will imagine or you will try to take the pieces the size of the rod. It can be a little thicker depending on the end result, but I like to do it like that. This one came a little too thin, a little thinner than what I wanted, but I will leave it like that. And uh, as I'm getting closer to the front, you will be able to see how I turn it. Then I take another one. With practice, you don't have to, you will not be needing to watch, you just will feel the hair. Then the most important thing you will do here is to make sure your ends are completely wrapped around the rod. So you will do this two or three times and then you turn it like a cork screw. It should look at the end like, uh, you know, these Christmas canes that you have, <laughs> like a Christmas uh, candy cane. This is the way it should look when it's done. Okay, then you do this again. So, hey, for those that are joining just now, I am doing a flexi rod set to give natural spirally curls. You make sure you do this three or four times and then you twist it like a core screw. And then you will bend the rod in the opposite direction that you applied. So I do this once a week and I do different kind of rollers. If you find the, the ends are getting too dry, you come back with your water because it, it, the hair doesn't have to be dripping water, but you don't want it dry either. Okay, so for this, I use the small comb. And I repeat this process over and over and over again. The amount of rollers is up to you, but I like to do a lot of them. And then I have two packages of the rods. They come in various sizes. And I like to use the thinner ones for the front because I like more definition in the front than in the back. You know, this is what you see in the mirror every day is the front, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> it is what it is. All right. Sorry, I'm checking up. Yes, yes, I um for sleeping is another process. I will explain you later on, okay? <laughs> okay and you do this over and over you make sure when you're wrapping the rod you don't apply too much force because if you do it too tight it will bother you it will you will feel like this feeling of um spooling so you make sure the ends are very well wrapped and you do it two or three times you twist it like a core screw so it will look like like you um that you roll it and the way you close it is up to you so you i like to do little circles sometimes i leave it hanging like a cane and um sometimes i leave it like a bee like a bee i only do it if i am not drying it because when i do it like a bee then it it looks so big that it won't fit in the hood for me to dry. So as I say, for this, you will apply your styling product. It's the same procedure. You will rub it in your hands. You will start in your ends. You will start in your ends. And then you go all over. I take my dem, I separate it to make it easier and I just come from the ends and I move my way up until you find the brush is running smooth, okay? So you will do it as many times as necessary until your brush run smooth, okay? You will start in the ends like so if you find the ends are too dry, you just come back with your water and you moist it again. You don't want the head to be dripping water, but you don't want it dry either. And then you, once you make sure everything is detangled, then you go back to the process. A trick that I have learned, because I always start from one side, if I start this, this section in this, uh, to the right, I start the other in the left side. This way it gives like more balance to the style. And it prevents that the curls collapse towards only one side. So the end result should look like this. You see, it's like a, like a Christmas cane. And this, to prevent it from sticking up, I just will twist it like that. This way, when I have to put my head, and I have a very big head, <laughs> I have a very big head, and then I do this. Remember, if you want to make a question or say anything in the chat, you need to unmute the, 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 the end. If you have not done so yet, please follow. The follow button is close to my name to the left. So every time I'm doing live, you if you are in the Amazon app, you will be able to see. You will get a notification. Okay, and this I'm doing to help you in your everyday beauty needs. And especially those that are learning to do things at home after the pandemic situation. So, I will be demonstrating um, every week a different kind of roller set so you can see. Because the time, I will not stay until it dries, but what I will do, I'm coming live tomorrow again the same time uh, to talk about body care uh, products. Then you will be able to see the final result. Okay, so you see, you make sure the end is wrapped and then you just tweet the rod a couple of times until you get to the root 
and then you twist it again in the opposite direction that you roll and you close if you don't do it like that the rod will fall because it has nothing to to to, to grab and you do it again and again and again as i told you before the most important part of this process is making sure the tip is well wrapped so you will wrap it three or four times before you start rolling wrapping it around three or four times like so and here is too thick so i will make two so you will bring all the ends you will wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around and then you twist like a corkscrew you close it in the opposite direction than that one you twist and now i will start using the the orange ones so why i do this because this way it make the hair look like if i have um a layer haircut and then the curls have more movement because they don't collapse one on top of the other so you see when you twist it like that this is what gives you a spiral course um, end result okay and we almost done with the back so in the front it will be easier for you to see so you apply your styling product start starting in the ends and moving your way up this is a little dry in the end so i apply water and then detangle because it's a little wide i will separate in two if you have welcome welcome if you have any question you can type it make sure you unmute so you can are able to ch chat and I will be more than glad to answer the question for you. Make sure if you color your hair, make sure that you don't use too much hot water because hot water will remove the color faster. Especially if you use fantasy colors, okay? So I only recommend to use warm water when you are going to shampoo if you have a lot of residue of product or of you been in the sea or things like that. Otherwise, the more close to temperature water that you can use, the best. Once you will make sure the end is very well wrapped. And as, as I'm saying, you will always start almost close to the end so you have enough room to wrap the hair around the rod and also to twist the rod around itself. If you don't do it like that, you will struggle with this lack of space. That's why I start close to the end. Then uh, another one, and I always recomb just to ensure uh, I have a very good product distribution and also that the hair is nice and smooth. Then you wrap it around your three or four times. I will say two or three times, not four. Four will be too much and necessary. Then you close the rod in the opposite direction that you wrap it, like so and you keep moving forward. You know, now it's easier to do natural hair because in the beginning, it was very hard to find products or people that knew how to deal with natural hair, but now it's easier because there is a broad um, amount of companies that has that are creating product for our texture 
and there's a more and more people that it's also trained to do natural hair so it's easier <clears throat> some people like the wash and go but i really prefer to i i have to feel the sensation that i'm taking care of my hair and also um i like my hair to look longer and has more movement and because my hair is so so tight when it dries naturally for me it, it doesn't look okay i don't like it i like it the way it looks with the curls like this so two or three times and then you will do this movement it's like a little game and you know the truth this is very relaxing when you do it when you first of all when you learn to do it yourself it gives you a, a sensation of power <laughs> i'm just checking thank you guys for being there i don't know who you are all of you but thank you okay and this is the last part from the back and then i will start doing the sides so you do the same again and again wrap it around make sure the ends are very well wrapped in the rod and then you twist it when you gain into the crown you will need help to do the process because there is rollers in in the in your way it will be hard to get to the to the uh to the root so that's why i just help it with my hands Okay, and then again the same. The same. And like that. This one is a little too loose, but it seems it doesn't want to cooperate, so I just will leave it. I will let it be. <laughs> right, that's right. This is the price of beauty, right? This is the price of beauty. But for me, this is not a sacrifice. I honestly enjoy it. Uh, I'm so glad that I embraced my natural hair. I was doing relaxer for more than 20 years because in my country, you just wait to have 15 years old so you can get your hair relaxed because we call this hair bad hair and a straight hair, good hair. So everybody wants to have good hair. Nobody wants to have bad hair, which is really sad in that we have this cultural non-acceptance of our roots but thanks god that even in my mature age i was able to embrace this and i remember in the beginning when i became natural that they told me oh but it doesn't look professional you will not get a job uh it it, it looks like you don't take care of your hair uh, or in Dominican way, arreglate ese pajón, and you sometimes struggle to, to accept yourself, but thanks God I overcame that, and I really enjoy my natural hair, and there is so many things and styles that you can do, this one is so beat up, but these rollers are very good, uh, I have these for more than two years, and I use it regularly, and some of them has loosened the tips that make them look nice, and also keep the little wire inside in place but even without it the rod works so it's, it's a very good investment because they basically do not damage you just need when they get to this point to be careful because it may scratch your skin with the little but I have them for a long 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 time 
So again, you make sure the tips are very well wrapped. Very well wrapped. And you bring it down. Let's drink a little water. Sorry for that, guys. A little water. <laughs> oh, my hands are so slippery now. Okay. No questions so far? Good. And I will do three lines in here because again in the front is where I want the most volume and the most everything. So I make sure that I do a lot of rods in the front. Then I wrap it and to have like a little background music for the future. But as I say, bear with me, I'm learning this and it's, it's, it's really not easy for me. So one step at a time, right? <laughs> One step at a time, guys. And then you twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. And then you close it in the opposite direction to make sure the rod stays in place. And Make sure the end is well wrapped around and you will and you will you see so another thing is these that are close to the face I like to do like this and I like to do this because when I'm applying the hood to dry it sometimes because I'm doing it like this then it's hard for me to close the hood and the hood is designed to fit. So, but the way that I wrap it, it makes it a little harder for, for the hood to cover. So keep that in mind. Another thing is the, in the beginning, it will take you time. Sometimes you will not wrap it right. Uh, keep doing it and you will get to it. Or you come to me and I do it for you. It's okay. Then you do this, wrap around, around. Because I have rollers in the middle, I may need to use my hands to help to give the twist. You see, like that. And here, I just will do two because my hair is very fine in the edges. You know, after um, in the process of losing weight, I have also lost a lot of hair. And um, it's normal. It's something that can happen when these situations because your whole body is adjusting to many changes, hormonal changes, changes in everything. So um, the absorption of the vitamins, especially the vitamins of uh, the B family that are directly related to the hair, uh, is affected somehow and this is why we lose hair but it's okay it's not it's nothing there's to be worried about so you see I wrap it a lot many times because the most important thing of this style is that the ends are very wrapped and these last me until I wash it again so if I if I wait more than them Hey, welcome. Thank you so much for hearing. If you're new or you don't know me, I am Ruth Mejia. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, a skincare specialist, and I also have natural hair, as you may see. And um, I'm coming to Amazon Live, and I will try to do this at least three times a week, giving you tips and tricks and, and everything related to beauty. I talk about perfumes, about books, about uh, skin and hair care, of course books and motivation and self-improvement okay and we can talk about many things and everything i talk about is listed in a carousel underneath this screen 
you don't need to go outside of Amazon and if you click on the product it will take you to your shopping cart so it's very nice and easy and this is the idea we have here is helping you in your shopping process okay so as I explained before you take a little bit of the styling product you start in the ends you go all the way up all the way up you use your brush to make sure you distribute the product all over and then you start to roll like so and um, using the uh, different colors because I want the curls to uh, fall like a layer cut so you see when you wrap it it will it should look like a Christmas cane a candy cane that those that you use for Christmas and then once it's wrapped you will make sure that you close the roller in the opposite direction that you roll otherwise it will not stay in place like so you wrap it around two or three times then you come like a corkscrew and then you close it in the opposite direction that when you roll it this way the rod will stay in place and for this tiny one I like to use the red ones like so and then you turn it around and around around and around and for this one because it's so long i will do like this so you see i have a lot of rods i have myself i think it's three packages that i have and i apply almost all of them you can depending on the type of hair and the amount of hair if you have a straight hair fear not you can do it as well and it will give you beautiful curls and this, this size of rods works in any length of hair as well. So do not be afraid that they're short. If you have long hair, it will not work. It will work. Then you twist it, twist it, twist it. And close. And when you close it, just do not be too rough because you can get a headache if you make it too tight. You see, take the hair, wrap the ends around a couple of times, and then twist it, twist it, twist it, like so. And it will look like, yes, I will say it one more time. It will look like <laughs> a Christmas candy cane. And for those close to my face, because my hair is finer in there, I just make it smaller thinner thinner rods and what I achieved by that is that the curls look phenomenal and I feel sexy 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 <laughs> thank you thank you thank you if you have any question please you can do it now we still have some time to go until I finish the whole thing Okay, so one by one, I go through the end again. Remember that tomorrow I will, same time, 9 p.m., I will do another talking about products for your body care, and then you will be able to see the end result. You know, because I don't want to have you here for so long. Everything that I have uh, that I'm using and I'm talking about is listed underneath. There is a carousel. If you click in the product, you will be able to take them to your shopping cart. It's easy peasy process. If you have any question about the process itself, fear not. You can ask, type the question. Make sure you unmute so you are able to use the chat. Make sure you mute and you can 
type any question or suggestion or just say hi so I can say hi to you. Okie dokie. And then for this part, I will use a very red one that is very skinny. So it will give me very pretty, very pretty, very pretty, very pretty curl. Then, yay! Yes, we get into the to the end. So here, there is a thing. If you do have a part, you will do the part, and then you will do the rollers in the direction that you do the part. If you don't want to have a part, and then you you just I like to do it like if I have a bank, like coming forward, and then this way I can manually direct the hair to whatever I want it to be. And this is, and I just move it wherever I want manually. Because when when it dries in one direction, it will it will stay in that direction. So what I do is this. In this case, I will start in the front. I would love to do it slowlier. Is that a word? Slowlier or slower? <laughs> I will try to do it slower. So you can see how I do it. And here in the front, I like to do a lot of rods because I like my hair. Um, the most hair I have lost is in, in this area. So I like to create the illusion of the, having more hair. So I come here, I wrap around, wrap around, and twist it, twist it, twist it. You see how it looks? And then you close it in the opposite direction that you twist it. Because you're close to your eyes, you don't want your eyes to be uh, bothered. You just make like a little round shape. So you can see what's going on. Now I do this. I do this, 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 this. And now because I will not take the rollers in front of you, um, if you, if you want to practice, I will remove one. I will do this and I will take it off so to explain you something. So you wrap it around, right? Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, and do this. When you're going to take the roller off, you will do remove in the opposite direction that you roll like so when it's dry. And when you do that, and then you will take a little bit of your serum. In this case, I have the aloxy restorative you apply in your hands, especially in your tips, and then you will separate the curls and as many as you want. The more you separate, the more volume you will have because you don't want to look like Shirley Temple, right? So you have to separate the, the curls with your fingers, but because you don't want to create freeze, you will apply serum in the tip of your fingers as well. You don't have, if you don't want to apply the serum all over because already you have a lot of product in the hair, but you want to apply in the tip of your fingers to prevent freeze when you are undoing the rods. Okay, very important that you don't forget that part. And when I do the other one, my brother say I looks like Medusa. I will do the other ones next week for you guys on my uh, shampoo day. And I think I will make this a little thicker, it's too thin. So let's make it a little thicker, a little thicker. A little thicker and I like to go over with the comb and because I start this side, now I will start this side. Just to give the curls some balance and also they will not collapse towards one side. And then you wrap around, around, 
around and again because you have all these rods in the in the middle you will need to use your hands to make sure you get to the roots because you want the roots to be rubbed okay you want the roots to be rubbed and this is how you do it because in the beginning there's nothing in the middle of your fingers and the rods but as, as you're getting towards the end you have a whole bunch of rods interfering with your process so you will help the hair with your own hands to be able to wrap everything to the roots and ta -da 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 -da, i'm loving it okay and now you take this one <laughs> now you take this one wrap it a couple of times and i like the the hair looking like if i have if i have bangs because i do the optical illusion that I have more hair than what I actually have. You know, we women, we have so many tricks, guys. It's ridiculous, right? <laughs> never trust a woman, never trust a woman. I, I will make two more here. So now I will use this blue. Again, I use different colors because every color is a different thickness of the rod. And I want to create the idea of a layer haircut. Why a layer haircut? Because it will give you more volume and more bounce. When you have a flat hair color, one length, and you do this type of styles, the the weight of the curls will collapse and bring the hair down and it will take the volume away and i like it the bigger the better don't forget to keep yourself hydrated i'm using my nalgene bottle that is marked with 32 ounces so this is um one liter and a half two liters right no it's one liter right tell me tell me and i put crystal light because i really do not like the flavor of water so i put crystal light to enhance the flavor if you see the recording of this, you can check all the products will stay in the carousel, but also you can visit my store. It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Ruth Mejia. And I have a lot of list of recommendations. Oh, thank you, Flora. Thank you so much. Yes, I think it's about, it says a thousand milliliters. I think it's around a liter. Yes. Thank you. So it's 32 ounces. It should be a little. Thank you so much. And we're almost there. But I promise you girls and guys and whatever else is in there that I cannot know if you don't chat with me. When you learn to do these things, it's, it's so good. The feeling of liberation is amazing because you don't have to rely on others to look great. And you will save some money as well. So it's a win-win situation. Thank you. Thank you, Flora. Come tomorrow at 9 and then you will see the end result. Okay? Beautiful curls. Nobody will believe my hair is the way it is. Unless you see it for yourself like I showed in the beginning. Never trust a woman. <laughs> we have too many tricks. So remember you will wrap the ends three or 
two or three times to make sure this is the most important part if you don't do that the hair won't look nice and also you will make sure you wrap all the way to the to the root because you don't want the root to look too too much fluffy then you will comb you will wrap the ends there is not such a thing as too many wrapping so you will wrap the ends until you make sure they will not fall off the rod and then you will close it like this and for this little piece i will do two more and we're done now i will explain you a couple of things that i do after because i will not have you for longer here I will end and then tomorrow at 9 I will be talking about skincare for your body. Come back and then you will see the end result. How about that? Sounds like a plan? Of course. And I will give you a lot of tricks to keep your skin tight. Especially for us mature ladies that sometimes we start to see sagginess in the skin and we don't want that because beauty has no age. We can look gorgeous at any age. I do pay special attention because I have lost 87 pounds at this point and the skin laxity is one of the side effects of these processes. So I have been doing a lot of things that I have been seeing good results and I want to share with you guys it doesn't matter your age but you know at this age we start to produce less collagen and elastin so you see I did it like two and sometimes when I do it like that to put the the hood is a little challenge so let me put the towel again and again, everything that I'm showing you is listed in the carousel underneath. You just need to click on it. You don't have to go outside of Amazon and it will go directly to your shopping cart. So now, what I do is these two steps. I have my dryer connected. You will uh, turn it in the medium heat and medium air flow. And you will dry for one hour, one and a half hour. It depends of the type of hair, the texture that you have. My hair dries in one and a half hour, but I like to dry it for two. Then once I remove the rods, uh, to remove the rods, I apply a little bit of serum in the tip of my fingers to make sure it doesn't free. And then I will remove the rod in the opposite direction that I twisted. And then I will separate it with my fingers to a slit. I use what we call the pineapple method. So I put all the hair up and I hold it with one of these scrunchies. Somebody told me because I forgot the proper name in English. And you will do a very high ponytail and then I will put whether it's a satin cap or a satin um, a scarf around the hair so it doesn't go on your pillowcase. If you don't like to sleep with that, you can also get satin pillowcases directly and it will help you to prevent wrinkles in your face also. So what I do, this is, um, I will go back to the beginning to show you this, the, the, the hood dryer. What is it guys? Somewhere outside, right here. <laughs> This is hair flare, and this one you can use it also with the curl former. So what I do is, and it has these that you attach to your blow dryer. And my blow dryer is a Solano dryer. This is a professional hair dryer, but you can use any dryer that you have. You just remove the nozzle and you're good to go. Okay guys, so you put this on, and this has these little things to adjust as well. These you can use with any type of rollers that you have. So what I do is I like to leave the tail looking back. 
And one thing that I love of using this method is that I can go watch TV, I can stay in, me com in the computer and do send emails or anything that I need to do and I, while I dry my rods, which is good. Because I do a lot of rods, uh, it will take a second for me to be able to run this down, but it will come down, no worries. Worry not. Hopefully you can see my face, right? You can see my face. And these, you can bring it down like that, all the way down. And it has like a little disc that you close towards your neck. But what I do is I close it here. Close it here. And I put this here. And Remember, you will use medium heat and medium, you see, medium, and it looks like that. And this is it. So I, I let it like this. Uh, usually I do it and I stay watching TV. I'm not watching TV because I have a couple of things to do now. So I will say goodbye. Tomorrow at 9, let me turn this off because I think I'm yelling. I will come again tomorrow at night. Thank you so much for staying with me. And also, let me see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tomorrow I will show you the end result, okay? Okie dokie. Good night. Thank you for your time. Look, I cannot see my own eyes. Bye.